What if you can't afford a webcam or your phone doesn't have the capability to be used as a webcam? By the way, if you haven't seen my webcam guide for YouTubing, make sure you check that out. In today's video, I'm going to show all of you on how you can VTube without a webcam. V Magic Mirror is actually a pretty cool application that you really don't have to have a webcam for and you could just use your mouse and keyboard. My name is Anubis Lives and I am your VTuber Senpai. On this YouTube channel, we cover anything and everything VTube and soon to be VR related. We upload here every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you happen to like this content, make sure you smash that like button. Leave a comment down below what you thought about this video or ideas for future videos. And well, subscribe. If you happen to like the videos I'm producing, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that will help me get to my thousand subscriber goal by the end of the year. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so our first step is to download the program. Okie dokie, so now that we're here at our handy dandy Google, we're going to just type in V Magic Mirror. Hit download. Now we got two download locations, either on Booth or GitHub. We're gonna have to select Booth for this one also a link to this download will be down below we're going to hit v magic mirror zip we're going to hit save file this website might ask you to log in just make an account and log in if you don't have one already and it's pretty simple to do so now we're going to let the program download and we're going to move on to the install okay so now that we have v magic mirror downloaded in our downloads folder on our computer we're just going to right click on it extract here we're gonna let it extract. Now that it's extracted, this is a lightweight program. So what this means is you don't really have to install anything to run it. What I would do is maybe copy this program, put it somewhere safe, like your local disk C, paste it in here, let it copy over. And then once it's actually copied over, what we're gonna do is Right click, right click on VMagic Mirror, send to desktop. So now the program is actually in a safe spot. If we decide to delete everything in our downloads folder, nothing will disappear. Okie dokie. So now that we have the program installed, our shortcut on the desktop, what we're going to open is our VMagic Mirror shortcut. So here we go. We've got a nice little green screen action happening. And we got our V Magic Mirror on the left hand side. Now, first thing we gotta do, change our language. Unless you speak Japanese, which you probably don't, let's switch it to English. Just click it, English. If you plan on using this program all the time and you want it to start up on Windows, just check that little icon there. But for me, I like to run different programs all the time. I'm not gonna do that. What we are gonna do though, is load file on PC. We're gonna click that. We're gonna find where our VRM file is, so our avatar. We're gonna click that, click open. Yes. And uh, there we are, sort of. But now we gotta kind of fix this. All right, so to fix this particular problem or look, all we're gonna do is hit adjust size by VRM. It's gonna center us. Then we're just gonna use either our mouse and our keyboard and look at that. Our hands are now in the proper location and it's working actually pretty decent. So let's move on to some other settings. All right, so for some other settings, we're gonna hit streaming. We have an option for transparent window so that immediately makes our avatar transparent, which is pretty cool. But we're on check that right now. We have leap sync to microphone. You can select whatever microphone you have you do have I look target. Now this is gonna be a big one for a lot of you. We wanna make sure we keep this on mouse because when we move our mouse left and right, it makes our avatar look up and down left and right. If you switch it to user, it just looks straight at the camera, which we really don't want. One thing I do suggest that you do is device assign. Change that from none to keyboard zero to eight. So when you hit two, or three, it changes and does different things with your avatar, which is actually pretty cool. Some other things that we have is like motion. 
presentation like hands, so you can move your hand up and down, hands down to keep your hands, but you can still move your head. We're gonna check that. And we got other options like game pads. So you can take away your mouse and keyboard and just use a game pad with your avatar. It takes a little bit of setting up, obviously. You can turn away or turn off or turn away avatar shadow. You can turn off wind if you have that effect. And you do also have some typing effects. So this is A, B, C, you know, just typing out those little cursors and tiny little effects that you might be able to see. There we go transparent. You see that it's going all over the place. We got lightning, which is pretty cool. We have butterfly, which seems to make butterflies. I'm gonna leave that to none. So with our V Magic Mirror, what we're also gonna load right now is our microphone. We're gonna change that to microphone. So now that it actually sees us talking, which is pretty good, but the very, very cool thing that we have is our cameras. I've never really seen any other piece of software have this kind of mode, but V Magic Mirror does. What we're gonna do is we're going to for one, click quick save. This is our default position. We're going to go to free camera mode. Click it. We're going to move our avatar around with the right click button and we're going to hold it. And with our middle click button, we can just hold it down. It's our scroll wheel button and we can move the camera all over the place. We're going to do it here. We could zoom in, zoom out with the middle scroll wheel. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hit quick save. And what this will allow us to do is quick load one, bring us to the first position, quick load two, bring us to this position. But, but we do have another cool thing we can do. Free layout. By clicking this button, you will see that we have little arrows everywhere. What that allows us to do is move the position of the keyboard up and down. So then it moves our hand position as well, as you can see. And same thing with the mouse position. We can change it where we want it to be. All right, so V Magic Mirror actually has a lot of different settings as well. If we click on open settings window, you'll see that, well, for one, we got all these. You can change the background color if you need to. You got transparency levels, you got face, lip sync, camera tracking if you choose to use a webcam down the road motion just the settings that they have in this program is absolutely endless i suggest anybody here just try it out play with some of them see what they do for example here wind enable wind strength direction so on so forth devices this is where you hook up your gamepad you could change the different buttons you can enable lean by stick none just everything everything is just amazing in this piece of software the amount you can do in it for free is just amazing as well okay so now that we have everything here the way we want it what we want to do is head back to the home we want to go to settings management hit save we're going to call it v magic mirror or whatever you want you could call it settings we're going to save it somewhere like documents, hit save. And then what we're also going to do is click load current VRM on next startup. So every time we open up V magic mirror, it loads up our avatar and then we can hit load to load up our settings, our V magic mirror settings every single time if we need to. So now that we have all these settings kind of worked out and set up, let's set this all up in OBS. Okay, so now that we have OBS open, we're ready to put in our V Magic Mirror. So on the left-hand side, I'm gonna assume you have your scenes already set up. On the right-hand side, we got our little sources. We're gonna hit the plus button under sources. We're gonna to go to game capture. We're gonna call it V Magic Mirror. We're gonna go mode, capture specific window, window, V Magic Mirror, and there we are. We're gonna click on allow transparency. And then we're gonna click okay. But now we got this green screen. Well, there's two ways we can do this. One, we could hit transparent window. And that just makes us transparent, which is probably the e easiest and most smartest way to do it. Or we have the other option of 
right clicking on V Magic Mirror, going down to Filters, hit the plus sign, chroma key, OK, and that does the exact same effect. Now, obviously, what I would do is just plainly hit transparent window, makes your life and everybody's lives easier. Then now that we have this, we can move our V Magic Mirror avatar around. We could move our mouse, type around, and everything works as it should. Now that you have V Magic Mirror all done and ready to go, what do you think about it? Try it out. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about V Magic Mirror and are you going to use it? Again, my name is Anubis Lips. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Come on by, say hi. Let's talk about VTubing, anime, gaming, whatever. And well, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.